Hello, today I want to demonstrate how to live stream on Facebook using the UTAB SDI version with Vmix and then OBS. Stay tuned and watch till the end. You need a video feed coming from an SDI device, either a camera or a video switcher. So I have a video feed coming. This particular camera is coming through SDI into this camera, but I'm not going to connect that yet. I first want to connect the device itself to the camera. The device is a 3.0 device, so you need to locate a 3.0 port on your PC. So I connect the 3.0 cable to the UTAP, and then I connect this to my PC. Okay, since it's uh, plug and play, it's going to install the driver by itself. And then when it's ready, it's done. So now all we need to do is to launch Vmix, launch Vmix and then add this device to Vmix. So I'm in Vmix now, go to add input, camera, S select the camera. Now the camera comes in, the UTAP comes in as UT-VIDO, some, 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 a lot of things, so you see that camera so I select that and then uh, input is SDI obviously has to be SDI and then the resolution is 1080p and then my frame rate is supposed to be 30 frame rates then when you are set uh, video format default uh, device built-in audio yes when you are set you click OK yes now when you see, immediately you see the color bars it means that the vmix has successfully recognized the, your UTAP so now you need to connect a video feed into the device. Now you realize that we have two SDI ports here. One is SDI in and the other is XDI loop out. The out is what you use to relay the video into another SDI device. Device, Okay, so now I have to connect my UTAP, uh, my SDI video inside. Yes, okay, so now this is it. This is the camera facing me, so that's what you can see here. So now to be able to live stream on Facebook, you need to either log into Facebook from Vmix or use a custom RTP and my those custom server thing. If you want to see a video on how to use the custom RTP and my, you watch our previous video. I think there should be a link somewhere on the screen. So this time around, I'm just going to log into Facebook. Okay, let me let me do the first one first. Then we, we try there. So I click on settings. Go to custom RTP RTMP server. I don't know why I find it difficult to see this thing. Okay, 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 okay. So custom RTMP server. And then, uh, okay, let me delete the previous ones that I was there before. Okay, then now I go to my Facebook page. Facebook page, yeah. Yeah, so inside the Facebook page, you, you have a page, inbox, and a lot of things here. What you are looking for is publishing tools. So you click on publishing tools. After it loads, go, go to the left side, look for videos, click on video library, and then, um, Okay, click on live, live, and then wait for the video to load. Okay, so now you have to copy the server URL and then copy the stream key. So I first copy the server URL, copy it, I go to Vmix, and then I paste it at URL. So control V, then I come back to Facebook, copy my stream key. Okay, so now uh, I have the stream key pasted, so I save and close. Go back to uh, Vmix and then click on stream. Click on stream. So it starts from, I think, some amber and then moves to red. Immediately you see this red and stream. That means it's streaming live on Facebook. So you need to go back to Facebook to check the feed. Okay, now you can see that the feed is here. On your Facebook page on the Facebook page so you give it a title any description you want test okay so test and then the title to maybe test or anything then when you're ready you click go live I'm not going to do that now thank you I also I want to show you how to to log into Facebook into in Vmix okay so now I stop the stream stop the streaming yes Go to Facebook setting again. Okay, so now this time around, the destination. 
instead of selecting the custom RTMP server, I rather select uh, Facebook. Facebook, where are you? Facebook, Facebook, Facebook. Yeah, Facebook. So now, with this, you may have to log into Facebook. So if this is not your device, then you don't need to do this. You can just use the previous method that we did. But uh, you can click on Facebook settings, log into Facebook. Uh, okay, I hope you're not looking at mine. So now when you log into Facebook, you see, remember browser. If this is your PC, if the PC you are going to use is for you, then you can choose to. So save browser, click continue. Okay. Okay, Vmix would like to post to Facebook for you. Who can see Vmix post in your timeline? Now what you want to do is that you want to make it public, public, because you want everybody else to see your Facebook. And then click OK. Now, yeah, would you like Facebook? Yeah. Okay. Okay, nice. Now, when you get to this stage, all you have to do is just to give a title to your video. So, whatever video it is you are doing, you click, uh, you type the title, test. For these purposes in the description, think and solve. Okay, location, share on your timeline. Nope, we want to share on a particular page. So I'm sharing on a Facebook, on our think and solve page. Privacy, friends, I want to let it go to public. Standard streaming, standard streaming. So, okay, so now I click save stream. So create stream. Okay, so now when you're ready, you don't need to do any other thing else. You just click stream in Vmix. Wait for it to turn red. Okay, so by the time it changes to red, that means it's streaming on your Facebook page. So you have to go back to your Facebook page to cross check. Yeah, go to Facebook. Okay. Okay, so my live video is here and I know that it's streaming. You can cross check again by go to, uh, going to publishing tools. Publishing tools video library okay so the test is streaming live you are streaming on facebook thank you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our videos tap the bell icon to get notifications for all our new uploads thank you